Buenos dias, que paso amigos, John's Moto Garage. As you can see, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere town, Texas. I don't even know where the heck I'm, I'm at. I was falling asleep at the wheel, so I had to pull off, just kind of get a breather, maybe take a quick cat nap. What I'm gonna try to do is a one and done take. Um, I'm gonna try to reveal the bike that I bought and upload it to YouTube on the go. We'll see if it works. So no editing, this is raw, this is what you get, and hopefully you enjoy it. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. First off, big shout out and thanks a bunch to everybody again for the support and checking out the videos. We had a ton of you guessing on the bike you thought I was going to buy. We had guesses for the Road Glide, the CBO, for a Honda Rune, all kinds of bikes. I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, but lots of good guesses in there for sure. I'm going to reveal the bike. If you're not already following me on Instagram, at John's Moto Garage, be sure to hit that up because there's a sneak peek. A lot of people already know what the moto is. Shout out to Connor FXDB. Go check out his channel because he met up with me in Austin and he showed me some cool spots. We had a blast out there. And also big shout out to Thor, the dude who I bought this bike from. He put his heart and soul into it and you'll see here momentarily, this dude made this thing look sick. In my opinion, the coolest bike of its kind ever built, ever, because I have it. JK, but it's it's very high up there and I think this thing is sick. So without further preamble, without further ado, let's go ahead and reveal the big reveal, the bike that I got, the new bike. As you can tell, I'm totally sleep deprived. I apologize. All right, you guys, here it is. Bam. So a few of you guys actually guessed it. It's a 2017 Harley Davidson Dyna FXD, FX DLS. That's the Lowrider S. They only made these in 2016 and 2017 before discontinuing the Dyna line. I'm gonna do a quick walk around. I'm not gonna go in depth with everything on the bike because honestly, I don't even know off the top of my head, but I will do a thorough walk around at some point because the previous owner, he was kind enough to do a video with me going into all the stuff he did on the bike. And he also gave me a breakdown of all the uh, all the stuff on it as well. So we'll. We'll get a more thorough video at some point, but I want to bring you guys something today because moment pretty soon here I'm going to be jumping back on the bike and hitting the road. But anyway, again, it's a 2017. The bike had about 8,300 miles when I first picked it up. It's got close to 9,000 now because I'm 1,000 miles plus from my house. And as you can see, very little of the bike is actually still stock. So I don't even know where to start with this thing as far as the uh, aftermarket components and, and goodies. We'll just, we'll start right here. All right, so rear swing arm, track or die rear swing arm. You got aftermarket Olin's suspension. You got the full rear fender. The, the Dyna Lowrider typically comes up, comes with the cut kind of bobbed fender like you have on the, on the street bob. Wheels have been powder coated black. You got the two into one Bassani exhaust. You got the Saddleman seat. You've got the MX pegs. The low rider has the dual disc brakes in the front. One of the things that immediately draws your attention are the gold fork tubes. And I apologize, it's wicked dirty, obviously, because I'm on the road. Um, those are, I think it's a race tech suspension that he has in that. And it's a two over on the uh, fork tubes. I don't know all the details on it, but again, we'll hear from the uh, previous owner. Daymaker headlight, you got the fork brace. I mean, this thing is loaded, fully loaded. The uh, front fairing, I don't even know what the fairing is. Most of you guys will probably know more about this bike than I do. Obviously, you can tell I'm a poser. You got this guy here, aftermarket grips. One of my favorite things about the bike is the, uh, the bars and the hard case performance risers. I've always been a big fan of these. They might be a little tall for me, but they work so far. GPR steering stabilizer. So one of the coolest things is, I, I realized early on after buying my Street Bob that I was gonna want a Dyna Lowrider for some of the reasons, like the dual disc brakes in the front, that rear fender. I just kind of like the look a little bit more of the Lowrider. And then you go from the Lowrider and you realize you want the Lowrider S. I mean, you gotta have the greatest of, uh, you got to have the latest and greatest, right? Anyway, I started looking and I missed out on two or three opportunities out in California. They sold before I could get there and I was super bummed out. And when I found this, the dude had more 
he had everything I thought I wanted and way more. For example, that rear swing arm, I mean, that's, how awesome is that? I didn't even have that on my list of something I wanted to get. And I saw this and I was like, dude, that is the bike for me. Uh, you got the chain conversion and that's a plus four sprocket in the rear. This thing pops up with ease for the wheelie game. I'm still not a pro wheelier. I only did a couple, but let me tell you, it was like almost like the FC07 or FC09. It was ridiculous. Um, oh, even little stuff like this. Oh, did I mention the GPR stabilizer? Hold on. Backing up, backing up. So GPR stabilizer. These are 110 cubic inch. You could also get a 117 upgrade, but this is the 110 cubic inch. This thing's a freaking monster. And it even has a... I'm trying to find it here. Oh, it's got upgraded uh, motor mount in the front. So I'm telling you, this dude went all out. I mean, he, he did so much on this thing. You could tell he really put a lot of uh, pride and joy into it. So big shout out again. Thank you, Thor, for hooking it up, man. Super stoked on it. And I honestly don't think I could have found a better overall package. This is everything I was looking for. And if I were to buy one of these stock and then do all these upgrades, I would have a lot of money into it for sure. So here's the bike. Let's go ahead and start it up real quick. It's got the dope security fobs. sounds really good it's not like super loud overly obnoxious just when it's idling but when you get on it and give it some gas the thing sounds super super good and the, my favorite thing about the bike you know with all the upgrades and everything on it my favorite thing about this motorcycle has got to be the actual ride itself this thing is wicked smooth it almost feels like you're riding almost feels like the supermoto in a sense in the Harley format so yeah it's got 8,929 miles you got these low profile gas cap and gas gauge I mean everything you could ask for on this thing and more like I was saying super dope I was going to try and do the 24-hour uh, challenge, do 1,000 miles in 24 hours. And I'm only at 554 miles in, and I forget. I'm like, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to make it, basically. But I'm enjoying the ride back. I'm not going to push it. Safety first. Many of you guys were mentioning that. Safety first for sure. I took a nap last night. I'm probably going to take a quick cat nap now. I'd rather get home in one piece than not get home at all. So, yeah, that's obvious. I had a very close call last night. I will go into it at some point, but it was like, hands down, the sketchiest thing that's ever happened to me on a motorcycle. And so, we'll go into that as well. But yeah, there you have it, you guys. John's Motor Garage. Thanks to everybody who commented. I apologize for the crazy hair. Um, what else can I tell you? If you dig the content, like and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram, John's Motor Garage. You would uh, see there's sneak peeks of the bike on there as well if you're not already following me. And big shout out to Connor FXDB. The dude showed me around Austin and just super cool dude. So big shout out. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check that out for sure. He's dude's hilarious, and we did some videos of the, the lowrider Dyna versus the lowrider Softail, just some comparisons, and he knows this stuff for sure. So very informative uh, and and um, entertaining as well. All right, you guys, I got to take a quick nap. As you can tell, I'm like way out of it. John's Motor Garage, I appreciate the support. If you dig the content, like and subscribe. We'll hit you up soon. Uh, a lot of great videos to come. Nos vemos hasta luego. Chao.